The nation is on the brink of a political and financial shutdown as the U.S. is forecast to hit the debt ceiling tomorrow. Economists warn the U.S. could go into default with its creditors halting some federal benefits like Social Security payments for millions. ABC's M. Wen reports. We're just one day away from when the Treasury Department says the U.S. will hit its credit limit, beginning the process for the nation to potentially default on its bills. But neither President Biden nor House Republicans appear to be budging. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warning her agency will have to resort to, quote, extraordinary measures to prevent the U.S. defaulting on the nation's more than $31 trillion in debt, meaning the government may not be able to make payments to millions of Americans for benefits like Social Security, Medicare and military salaries. Economists saying it could also lead to delayed tax refunds and millions of jobs lost as fears of a recession are already looming. The issue triggering a game of political chicken between the White House and Republicans in Congress. Newly elected Speaker Kevin McCarthy demanding spending cuts in return for raising the debt limit. The path that the Democrats are going, they're going to go bankrupt. Raising the limit does not mean more spending, but rather just allows the government to pay back its existing debts. Yellen saying not doing so would cause irreparable harm to the U.S. economy. The White House pointing to how the debt ceiling was raised under former President Trump when Republicans controlled Congress, but also three times when Democrats took over the majority. It is essential for Congress to recognize that dealing with the debt ceiling is their constitutional responsibility. The Treasury Department buying Congress some time to reach a deal with those extraordinary measures set to keep the government from hitting the debt limit until at least June. We shouldn't be playing chicken with the American economy. This, this is not a game. This is people's lives. When Congress faced a showdown over the debt limit in 2011, the U.S. credit rating was downgraded for the first time ever, and the stock market tumbled. The threat of a default could make investors on Wall Street nervous again. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.